peg this puppy up. You remember how old this star sand is? A week or two weeks old? You think it's still good? Don't you wish there was some kind of a simple beer hack to see if your star sand is still viable? Today on Void Meets Ward. <laughs> happened to you? It's a question that we get all the time, and it's actually a question that we kind of face in our own brewing quite frequently. We have this bucket of star sand sitting here, but neither one of us can really remember when this stuff got mixed up, and whether or not it's still going to be acidic enough to do the job of sanitizing all of our equipment before we rack our black forest cake stout down into the keg and get it ready to go on tap. There's a really, really simple, easy, and very effective way to see if your star sand is still active by which I mean still acidic enough to sterilize all your equipment, and it's really just making use of these winemaker's litmus paper. And these are super simple devices. There's just a little bit of a reagent down here, which when dipped in any kind of a solution for about two seconds, will react to produce various colors, which you can then compare to the pH scale, and it'll let you know what the pH of given solution is. So we pulled a few samples here, this is actually just regular old tap water. We'll kind of use this just as an illustration and a control. I think our tap water around here is between seven and eight on the pH scale. These end at four, so what we'd expect to see if I stick this into this water is nothing, no change, because it's not something that can react with these. Let it dry for about 10 seconds. And indeed, it's still the same color that it started out as, no change, that's what we want to see. This is some fresh star sand that we actually just did mix up. So what we'll expect to see here is it matching up to this very low end of the spectrum. I think when you get this to the right dilution, it's between 2.8 and 3. Stick it in there for two seconds, and then shake it. It's like a Polaroid picture. And yeah, beautiful. So that's almost an exact match for that uh, 2.8 part of the scale right there. So we know that since that's under, I've heard three and I've heard three and a half as the effective pH for star sand. I'd like to try to have mine under three if I can, just because it's better to be safe than sorry. This is some stuff that we had that we literally cannot remember when we mixed it up. I think it was about two weeks ago, but I honestly don't remember. So let's see how it's doing and if it's still something I could have used or if I'll be thankful that I just mixed up a fresh batch. And yeah, honestly, Honestly, this probably is at about exactly 3.5. Maybe it is a little bit closer to 3.6. And in that kind of a situation, I think it's always better to just err on the side of mixing up some fresh stuff. If you test it and you see that it's clearly underneath this 3.2, then you're good to go. I'd go ahead and use it. But if it's this questionable, I'm not gonna risk it. I'd much rather waste an ounce of star sand than to risk wasting five gallons of beer that we've worked so hard on. If you want to mix some stuff up and have it last a little longer so you're not having to mix up fresh star sand for every little application that you come across, the spray bottle is a great thing. I honestly think I mixed this up like probably two or three months ago. Wow. Immediately. This is even more acidic than the one that we just mixed up now. So that's a great way just to keep a supply of this stuff on hand for when you need it. Still check it every once in a while. Uh, maybe just to make sure, but that's a really, really effective method. Hope that helps. Hope it's a quick and dirty trick that can kind of make your uh, brewing life a little bit easier and uh, infections a little less likely to plague any given batch. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and keg this beer up. This is our Black Forest Cake Stout. If you guys are following along, you've probably seen this recipe here. So if you want to see how this one came out, one of our next videos will be tasting notes. You want to keg this beer? Yep, let's do it. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. We hope this little beer hack came in handy. If you have any beer hacks that you've discovered in your brewing process, drop us a comment down below. Let us know. Until next time, guys. <laughs>